Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa. I'm also known as Sinstar555. It's really lovely to meet everyone here. We are here without looking into the month of November of 2023. Well, actually, we're going to look into November the 1st and November the 2nd of 2023. Happy birthday to the sign of Scorpio. I really do hope that you are enjoying your birthday. On my channel, I do go and find a secretive energy that's hidden and I bring it to light. So the mystery solved here, please enter at your own discretion. This is a message for all other signs. Okay, let's see what we have here. Obstacle and challenge is right there. Let me put this down here so you can see everything here. Okay. There's some mess right here, please. All right, right here. We have right here discontentment and boredom. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. There's some mess right here, please. November the 1st and November the 2nd is 2023. We have right here new beginnings. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the solar plexus chakra right here. Okay. Let's get a couple of Kipper cards on top here, and then we're ready. Okay, let's see what we have going down right here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, message here. All right, so we have right here the Privileged Lady. What's the message right here? Discontentment and Boredom. All right, this card came out here with it. I knew I'd seen another one. Gift. What's the Discontentment and Boredom? Discontentment and Boredom right here. We have right here Community. And then obstacle and challenge, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Thief. Wow, the thief is showing up right here. At the bottom of the deck right here, we have concern. Okay, so if you'd like to get a reading with me, it's a good time now to get your readings that you would like to get with me because beginning of the new year, I will be going up on the price a little bit. But right now, we do have readings right now. It's $45 for 15 minutes, and we can get on the phone and chat it up. So definitely do take a look at that i'll put my text line down below you can ask questions about your situations and everything like that okay so anyway right here right i'm using the uncommon to roll this deck right here to get out um clarity new beginnings where's your message please new beginnings holy spirit holy angels this could be an aries all right but something's unexpected right here okay could be a privileged lady could be a wife Okay. Could even be some gift. Maybe some gift is coming right here. Could be it. Let's see what's going down. What's the message right here, please? New beginnings. Message for the collector right here. Sorry that I've gotten to this deck. New beginnings. What's your message here, please? Okay. We have right here the six of cups and the four of cups. So I feel like somebody missed the opportunity right here with you in the past. With the full card right here, I feel like that's unexpected to them. Or they could feel kind of foolish right here for missing the opportunity with you in the past. Could be the case. What's the message right here, please? New beginnings right here. Okay, right here. Four swords right here. It's going to affect them right there. Four swords going to affect them right here. Okay. We got two fours already. Is that somebody paying attention? That's somebody here that's protected some type of way. So, you know, that's going to affect them right here that you're paying attention to something like that, okay? They missed an opportunity with you in the past or something. They're thinking about right now how they missed the opportunity right here with you. It could be an um, Aries right here or anybody else it could be, okay? What's your message here? Okay. Knight of Coins. They're thoroughly looking at this. Let me get right here. Yeah, Knight of Swords right here. How some truth is here or that you were speaking the truth about it, something like that. This even could be something they said right here. It made you realize there was missing opportunity with you in the past. I also could feel like this one right here is that you have um, the bird's eye view, higher knowledge here could be the case. Because I feel like for some of you, maybe you have a gift. Okay, a gift could be of discernment. What's the gift card though? Or maybe you was giving them a gift right here. Yeah, the seven of wands right here is a challenge right here. And being defensive right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a challenge to get an opportunity with you in the future when somebody already missed the opportunity with you in the past. Something like that. I feel three of wands right here. There's no opportunity in the future, I feel. I feel like it's a challenge in the future right here for somebody right here, okay? Ace of Cups to have a love situation or a house or something like that could be the case here. But that's very unexpected right here. There's something that's a missed opportunity about a house or a love situation. That's, that's, that is definitely um, unexpected, I feel. 
The king of swords right here. It could be a crazy sleep with Gemini. Okay. Maybe somebody here, like, they like, dang, I missed the opportunity with him. Okay. Somebody very defensive right there. I feel some way. What's the gift card? Yeah, the, the awakening right here. Judgment. Okay. So somebody's awakening right here. I feel like the truth right here, they get defensive about something right here. Okay, even to get them some gifts right here, could be a gift that they was thinking that you was going to give them for some people right here. Or it's because you have a gift. You, you have a gift of discernment, stuff like that. Okay, but it could actually be a physical gift because the privileged lady right here is somebody here that's financially well off. So maybe somebody here was thinking you was going to give them a physical gift. Okay, for some people here. What's the privileged lady? Yeah, five of swords. They've been defeated right here. Okay, five of swords is defeat or conflict or something like that. So I just feel like that's not expected to them right here. I feel that they was defeated by something right here. In some way. What's the message right here, please? This privileged lady. Queen of Queens right here. Yeah, this is somebody here that's financially secure right here. Okay, yeah, the Queen of Coins is somebody here that have money, I feel. Okay, so somebody's been defeated. Well, they was having some deception, I feel, right here, some type of way. Okay, and with the privileged lady right here, I feel like um, this is definitely the ultimate provider right here. Okay, so I feel like the fool, somebody feels foolish from, that something's a missed opportunity in the past in some way. Or they missed some opportunity right here with you in the past. I feel like they want you to get them a gift or maybe they want you to buy them a house or anything else. But they want you to get them some gift right here. I feel like physical gift right here. Because the Queen of Pentacles and the Privileged Lady, that's somebody that is well off. They're really an ultimate provider. They can provide um, material things to somebody right here. Okay. Yeah. Queen of Cups. Would you look at that? We got two people here. Oh, okay. They defeated because they had another lover. Okay. That's why. They defeated. Hmm. They defeated right here. Queen of Cups right here and a Queen of Pentacles right here. So, I feel like this is two people right here, and that's how they got defeated, by having two lovers right here. Okay, Five of Swords, Deception, they defeated right here. Okay. So, they wanted somebody to get them a gift, I feel like somebody. Any other message right here, the Privileged Lady? Okay, this could be a Virgo right here, or um, a Scorpio, maybe. Yeah, or well, somebody did some introspection, they could have realized they had another lover. Right? Or well, somebody's realizing right here that this is ending right here with you or with, with this person, I feel. Okay. It definitely could be a Scorpio right here and a Virgo. Because even these two cards is emphasis again on Scorpio and Virgo. So the two queens right there is Scorpio and Virgo, maybe. Okay, something like that. They defeated. I'm getting right here. So what I'm seeing so far is somebody here was expecting you to get them some type of physical gift right here. You know, it's unexpected to them. They missed the opportunity of getting this gift right here with you. That you have bird's eye view about it or something like that. Um, that they had another lover here, I feel. Some people here. Okay, when they reflect about something right here, they realize something has ended, I feel, for some people right here. Whether it's not opportunity to do something in the future or that you're very defensive, I feel. For somebody's defensive. Okay, I feel like somebody missed the opportunity for cups right here. Contentment and this um contentment discontentment and boredom, right? To be a family could be the case. Or show up in a community or something like that. What's the discontentment and boredom? So I feel like they was missing it. Just for you. They was definitely missing it right here. See how about somebody here standing right here? They're not even seeing the big castle back there, the mansion house or something like that. They didn't see it or it wasn't open up to it or something like that. I get the sense right here. Yeah, ten of wands right here. That's a struggle on them. I feel like that right there is a burden on them right here that they missed something right here. That's really, really heavy on them, I feel, the fact that they missed something like this right here, I feel. Yeah. Nine of swords reverse right here. I feel like it's too hard right here to work something out right here with you if they missing the opportunity. Something like that. Or they already missed it. So how are they going to work up something now? Something like that. Could be the case. Yeah. Nine of Cups right here reverse. It's not wish fulfillment. The fact that they missed, you know, this opportunity right here with you. This even could be Nine of Swords right here. Nine of Cups reverse. 
two nines, something ending. I feel like they didn't want to end, but at the same time, it's too hard for them not to end something. I feel for some people right here. Here's another thing right here. Not a swift reverse and not a cups reverse. You come my anxiety. This is not my wish fulfillment. Pretty. It's a missed opportunity. I feel like that's unexpected to somebody right here that you made a decision. This is not my wish fulfillment here. I come my anxiety. They was expecting to get you to get them some gift though, I feel. Okay. Yeah, in a relationship right here, right? Yeah. Eight of Wands. It's not what's fulfillment, I feel. Something about this situation is not what's fulfillment. I feel like they have two lovers. That's I feel like that's what the problem is. They have two lovers. That's not what's fulfillment, having two lovers, I feel. You know, because they was thinking over here that somebody would get them a gift, I feel. What's the community card? Yeah, they delayed the happiness right here, the sun card reverse. They definitely delayed the happiness right here, I feel. Okay, community right here. So much right here, right here. All right. Queen of Wands. This definitely could be a Leo. They delayed the happiness with this Leo. I feel. Hmm. You know, like, like I always tell the Leos, right? I feel like they be on the energy, like, um, you know, if I'm not number one on your list, I'm not gonna be number two or three or whatever, you know. So somebody have two lovers over here, then it's a missed opportunity, I feel. It's, it's a missed opportunity having these two queens over here, I feel. You know, because I, I feel like this Leo energy is like I have to be number one or we're not doing nothing here at all. Or something like that could be the case. Like, you know, if I'm not number one on your mind, then no. Something like that. You put somebody else in front of me in a love situation, they delayed their happiness for you. It's not what's fulfillment to Leo or to somebody. It's not. You know, because I feel like they're restricted. Something's hopeless, just like that. You know, hmm, it's pretty. So they're, they're gonna be restricted from the Leo energy or whoever else energy it is. They were restricted right here with the Eight of Swords. Okay, or they're powerless. They're coming back and apologizing to to the Leo or to somebody here about something like that. I feel. You know, they was lusting right here. They're gonna be heartbroken. They're gonna be heartbroken about lusting. Or putting somebody else before you. Something like that. They're going to be really heartbroken about this right here, I feel. Because I'm getting, like, for real heartbroken. You know? And let's not forget, right? The sun is very hot. Okay? So this is going to hurt them a lot, I feel, right here. It's going to hurt them, I feel, right here. In fact, they was putting somebody else before you. It's not with fulfillment right here. They missed some opportunity right here with you. Right, well, it's not opportunity, it's not with fulfillment to you, so no, something like that. What's the obstacle and challenge right here? See, the obstacle and challenge is how to get over the gap right there, right? And I feel like for some people here, they're a thief anyway, you know, because I feel like this person right here was expecting some type of physical gift over here that I feel like is a challenge for them to get now, some type of way. What's the obstacle and challenge right here? Yeah, it's money. The obstacle and challenge is money right here, okay. Or to have a family. The Ten of Pentacles also could be a family. This even could be somebody here that sells puppies or something like that. Could be the case. What's the mess right here, please? Yeah, Nine of Coins could be a Virgo. The Nine of Coins also could represent a life full of luxury right here. I'm getting like for real life full of luxury. Somebody lives, I feel, with these two. The Nine and the Ten of Pentacles. This is a life full of luxury. Okay. Seven of coins right here. This is definitely money I'm getting over here. Yeah. Seeing some investment right here. A life full of luxury. Getting some type of gift over here that somebody wanted to get. In some type of way. It's going to be an obstacle getting it, I feel, for some people here. It's definitely an obstacle getting here to somebody's money, I feel, for some type of way. Yeah, because I feel like somebody look at what they invested in or they're looking at where they're putting their money or something like that. Okay. What's the obstacle and challenge? Got Queen of Swords, say you know that you're intelligent. Hmm? But I just feel like something's gonna go into your favor, you know, so it's gonna be too hard for somebody right here. Something they was doing, okay? Because the Queen of Swords right here in the Wheel of Fortune, something his fate is gonna go into your favor right now, right? It even could be right here. Maybe somebody here thought something was gonna go into their favor just to find out the Queen of Swords is here. Crazy sleeper, Gemini or Virgo or anybody else is here. Could be the case. Hmm? Like they was having hard 
They was having hope right here to hold on to something right here. It's an obstacle and challenge right here to hold on to something right here. It could be some long-term investment. And that could be anything. It's something here that has money to do with it in some way. Okay. It's going to be a challenge for somebody to hold on to investment or to get some money or get some of somebody's money. Page of Wands right here to have good news. It's a challenge of getting right here. Was a thief card? Because somebody knows they're a thief or... You know, this could be the case. Maybe something here was going to go into their favor and then they start being a thief. So somebody's like, oh, you want to be a thief? I'm not going to give it to you then. So that could be the case. That could be the case I'm getting for some people here. Right? To a swords. It's a challenge right here for somebody not to see they're a thief when they're a thief. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a challenge for somebody to have somebody be oblivious to something right here when they can clearly see that. Something like that. That's what I'm kind of getting here. Yeah, that's wishful thinking right here. That somebody not going to see their thief when they can see that. Something like that. Hmm? And they could just collect gifts over here or something like that. What do they think? It's Christmas in November? Something like that. Sure, Christmas in November. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Justice card right here. It's a cause and effect for them being a thief or somebody thinking they're not going to be a thief or not seeing them as a thief. That's unexpected to them, though. That's really unexpected to them, I feel. Because I feel like they was thinking it was going to be victorious right here as some gift or some something here that's tangible that somebody has. They was thinking they was going to get it right here. Just wishful thinking. They're not going to get something like that. Hmm? Yeah. It's wishful thinking. I'm getting over here. They could be a thief and get something over here. Somebody won't see what they're doing. Something like that, right? Just period. That's wishful thinking. At the end of the day, karma is served or justice is going to be served in this situation in some type of way. Right? Somebody said it like that. What's the concern card? Yeah, this could be a house. Four of Wands, maybe it's a house right here. Or it could be um a relationship. But they're actually in despair over here in secret for some people here. Hmm. They're in despair about a house or a relationship or something like that. Yeah, because I feel like that, that was their plans was to get this house or receive money for this house or from this relationship. That was their plans right here, I feel. And somebody knows that. Okay, somebody knows right here. They don't really want to be their lover, I feel. With a lover's card, those two people looking the opposite way. Okay, so I feel like they don't really want to be their lover, right, or something like that. But they was trying to use a relationship right here, the four wands, to get the money, I feel. But if they don't really want to be their lover, that's too hard to do that. Some people here could be a Gemini. It's definitely too hard to do that. I'm getting right here. Right? For somebody not to see something or something like that. What's this um solar plexus chakra? They could be a regret. Period. They could be a regret about something right here, for real. Okay? They focus upon a loss right here. How they want to be your lover right here. All right, they wanted to get some money for some people here. I feel like this, this is a relationship of convenience that somebody was trying to use here to get money from somebody here. Okay, and that thief right here is not going to work. Something here is karma. It's not going to work. It's wishful thinking, something like that. Okay, yeah, the soul is plexus chakra right here. It's all about creating something new, putting a boundary up, stuff like that. Right, five of cups right here, two of cups. They're going to be a regret right here because you have a boundary up right here. All right, you're going to survive something right here. All right, and you don't have to let people get close to your energy that's undeserving, something like that. What's the message right here, please? Okay, yeah, that is time to move on. I feel for some people here, some cycles complete right here, and everything like that. It could be too late for them to put hard work in to be focused now about something when somebody already realized they're a thief or something like that. Somebody already know that. I feel they already skilled, they already mastered that right here. Okay, there could be a regret right here. They stop putting the hard work and they stop being focused upon you. For some people here, they, they regret about that. I feel, you know, for some of you, something here has really changed. It's time to move on. It's not the same. I feel, you know, so that's they regret about it right now. I'm getting right here definitely. I feel like you're intuitive right here, high priestess right here. You can see somebody here is tempted in some type of way. Okay, if you they're tempted right here to negotiate right here with you, or they're tempted right here to have multiple lovers or something like that. They're gonna be stuck in their thief energy. Okay, it could be a cancer. The trade card right here, okay? Or anybody else it could be. But anyway, yeah, that's what I have here, okay? Thank you so much for taking a look at this message. And we'll get back together again soon. And I send you peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste to you.